Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor of the Tenkar's Tavern blog. You can't even say it right. My God. Sobriety sucks. Um, and, of course, the Tenkar's Tavern Substack. The link is below. Last night, by the way, Joe Deloy did his first live stream. Great response. It was right after the uh, Talking Crit live stream. I've been talking with Joe. We're tossing the idea around that Joe might do a live stream from 7 to 8 Eastern on Wednesdays, kind of lead in to Talking Crit at uh, 8 o'clock. It's going to be like, if we can pull this off, it's going to be like the uh, Johnny Carson, uh, uh, David Letterman days. I think that would be awesome. Fun times. So, what do we have up on our screen? And I saw this graphic, and I was like, it's not a Far West graphic. It's it's not like 10 years worth of, oh my God, no, 11 years worth of lies that none other than Gareth Skarka has been uh, throwing at the uh, community for, my God, that long. By the way, we're supposed to see something before the end of the year. That's been before the end of the year for how many years? But, nah. Don't hold your breath, and uh, I'm sure he'll find somebody else to blame it on. But no, this is a timeline for Dungeon Crawl. Dungeon Crawl is a board game that I know it exists because I happened to, I was able to source a copy from a third party. But I have a straw buyer who, when they were taking pre orders earlier this year, my straw buyer was like, hey, listen, uh, you want a copy? Uh, it'll be good for the channel. Uh, I'll. I'll place an order. All right. Straw buyer is close enough to me. We can make that work. Because I know if I ordered it directly, you know, nothing good could have happened from that, right? I, I've, I've already confirmed that I've had fake poop sent to me by somebody. I, I didn't need anything happening to a game I was purchasing uh, for review purposes. So this timeline's interesting. So it says that the PSR began to take pre-orders and um, I'm actually wondering if I zoom in too much on this. I might have zoomed in too much because I think I, I did. I lost. So last December, so now we're talking 12 months, uh, Don, Don Samora sold the game to TSR. And TSR says games will ship in March. All right. So now I can, I, I can zoom in again now. Make it easier for me to read. So uh, TSR begins to take pre-orders in January. I think my pre-order was made in uh, February. Not 100% sure. But back then. And then TSR started releasing actual game images. And that's, you know, uh, that's a general time frame when my, my uh, I'll be generous and call it my parody card came out. You know, the Tinkarian Gibbera. Uh, oh, actually, I might have that here. Hold on, hold on. Yes, I do. Look at that uh, um, my my forehead keeps it from going. Oh, look at that! So in any case, the Tenkarian Giver card um, is part of the apparently the release. I have it. So uh, TSR post images of the game being actually made in February of twenty twenty two. That's earlier this year. TSR announces games are done in March, and post images of the games. TSR con shows people pay, playing it, and TSR says TSR said all orders are now shipping, and they did show. Stacks of, I guess, game boxes, boxes, shipping labels. You could, by the way, you could not request your shipping information, even though all these orders, post office, right? You send a package, you get tracking information now. That's the default, all right? Uh, they're old school, and old school meant that they didn't, I don't know, remember who they were getting what packages for. There was no tracking information, which is interesting because, from what I can tell, packages weren't being delivered. So, um, in April, Ernie Gygax posts on Mick Mick Art uh, posted games are now in edit. I thought they were already produced, but in any case, TSR claims games are shipping in a month. All right, so games are shipping. Games are now shipping in a month. Okay, complaints are happening about games not being delivered. Listen, I, I, I'm going to be the. I, I am a huge Kickstarter supporter. And I am the first person who will understand that. All right, listen, I plan on getting the stuff shipped out in, in, in March. Shit happened. It's not going to happen till May. Okay, that, 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 that's fine. Um, but when you, you know, when you say, 
hey, we're taking our pre-orders now and they're going to ship in 60 days, you'd expect them to get somewhere near that target. But we'll move on. Um, in May, well, now I suppose that games are done and will be shipping. Okay, again, and, and again, if, if people are still complaining in May that games weren't being delivered, shame on them. I, that to me, if you're if you're two minutes late in the gaming industry, you're not really late. You're pretty much on time. That's my humble opinion. You may disagree with me. Uh, in June, Ernie Post Dungeon Crawl is at a new printer, and it looks great. And then uh, Lanasa posted the games are being shipped in a few weeks. They're at the printer. Uh, July, more posts. Games are being shipped in a few weeks at the printer. See, now that's the time where I, as a consumer, I'm talking as a consumer. I'm not talking as a, a gaming critic. I'm talking as a consumer. That's the point where, as a consumer, I start going, where's my shit? So... TSR sent out an email saying that Wizard Tower Games, this is in August, will be uh, shipping games within a month. Uh, Wizard Tower Games responded immediately via tweet that uh, they are not <laughs> shipping games and they are not printing games and they are not involved in it. Uh, Wizard Tower tweets that Lanasa has claimed that uh, Michael, that should be Michael Hovermail, supposedly hacked the uh, TSR or the Dungeon Hobby Shop email and sent this fake email saying that the games were being produced by Don. So we hit September. Uh, Don and his company, which is Tower Games, and Michael Hovermail and actually get subpoenas. And then uh, Lanasa blamed the detail. They claimed blamed the uh, Don and and Michael for all the delays that had been going on at that point for da, 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 what? Uh, and they said everything was shipping in March, and now we're in September. That's five months. And then start claiming that Samora stole uh, increasing amounts of money. Which listen, I, I am. Not an accountant, and I was certainly not a math major in college. Uh, I will say that yes, um, math is difficult. So uh, I don't know why the discrepancies. Uh, in October, new post that the games are shipping in a few weeks, and that the games are at the printer. So now we're in November. Well, we're in December. Now we get to November, and TSR posts that Dungeon Crawl is shipping first week of December. So this is the first week of December. Maybe these games are shipping. I'd like to see mine arrive. I'd like to see what the final version is. I think that the version that I was uh, gifted was an earlier version. Now, uh, assuming my order was made in March, we'll say, uh, and it's December. Um, well, we say March. They were all shipping, right? Everything was shipping in March. So that's the... Th uh, and that's nine months of discrepancy. So I, I find that interesting. But this isn't even the highlight of it. This, like I said, this reminded me of Far West. And I was like, wow, this really... Whoever did this did a good job. Now, somebody is pretty sure who did this. Now, I can't show you this email. I can barely... I, I, as much of this email... I'm going to have to uh, step around because, well, first off, it was that we're back to getting, a, not we, the community is back to getting emails sent by Anonymous through Anonymous because Anonymous is the way to uh, get your anonymous email out there. So this was sent to Don Samora. Don has shared this on Facebook um, and he, uh, he did show me the original. I did see the original. I did see the unadulterated version, I, which would have been like, you know, NC-17, I guess. Uh, the email is titled Truth. Now, it's anonymous. Nobody signed it. We don't know who sent it. But whoever sent it was pissed. So, your wife is a... See you next Tuesday. 
dumpster, slut, fat hog rhymes with uh, witch. Okay. I bet she likes sucking uh, that word that is verboten everywhere on social media and in person because those probably get you uh, punched in the face. Uh, another word, a C word that sounds like rock. Uh, also, you think you are funny. We know you are Mr. Mimi. M-E-M-E-E. -E -E. Yes, maker. And we know you make those. Um, uh, what's, how, uh, I, I, you know what? It, it sounds like the word that the Brits use for cigarettes. How about that? Uh, those Brits, British cigarettes, uh, ass charts. By the way, I effed your wife in high school and her, uh, another word for cat, uh, was raggy and stinking back then. F you, Don. Hmm. So, again, we don't know who wrote this. We have no way of identifying the writer of this letter. However, the writer of this letter was very upset by this meme. Oh, this Mimi, right? It's a Mimi. Mimi. Not, not, but not me, we. But in any case. So, Whoever wrote this letter obviously has issues. Uh, I don't think we need to go beyond that, right? So that is the latest. That imagine this this little graphic upsetting so someone so much that they, you know, go on. Listen, my my experience. If if I was working, I would expect whoever wrote this to be on like a meth binge or something like that, because that's just what I would expect to. Oh, I got to respond to this uh, location. All right. Well, thank you, Central, for letting me know the details. And I know I should be wearing gloves. Go figure. So that's the update. Folks, um, tomorrow night, if you watched last night, if you watched the live stream last night with uh, Joe the Lawyer, Rob Conley, and myself, on Joe Lawyer's channel. I am sure we're going to have a follow-up uh, tomorrow night on the Random Generated Party. It'll be myself, Rob, Joe, a few others from our, our regular group. Enjoy the live stream. We'll see you then. Uh, as always, as usual, uh, we're in the midst of the endemic. Use your common sense. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. I'll back again tomorrow. Later, folks.